What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the UA Live Break Room. We got a packed house in here for this afternoon. Matinee, Donnie, Joe. What's going on? Dave. Hello. Guys, thank you for joining us. This could be a really, really fun show uh, this afternoon. Like I said, we got we got the, the three amigos in here on camera with the new setup. Oh, we're rocking. We're looking to have some fun on this afternoon, guys. We just released the JJ SWAT minis. We have general admission baseball tickets. We have the pigskin footballs. We have the starstruck wooden crate helmet series. We also have the buffet. Looking for that. Ezekiel Elliott, Matt White, Riddell, authentic nastiness in the buffet platinum helmet series. We also have complete. NFL helmets that we are rocking for this afternoon. How's everybody doing in here? Doing good. Doing, doing good. Well. Move back. Let me give Joe some some camera there. What's going on? <laughs> I uh, I'll try not to, to eat up a lot of space. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited. We got Dave everything over there. Yes, sir. So Dave, we noticed that before we went live, we didn't have anything filled up. Can you give us a breakdown as to what potentially uh, is I... close, or or what are we looking forward to this afternoon? I would love to. Um, closest one we've got right now is that new JJ SWAT series. We're five away on that. Um, other than that, we've got a lot of open stuff. Complete helmets, we got two spots in. Starstruck, one full. General admission, we got two full. And buffet, we got one. So the world is your oyster. <laughs> you can get whatever you want. We That's will right. break it. That's right. I love the terminology. Uh, the world is your oyster, which never really <laughs> made a lot of sense to me. Never does. I don't understand what that means. <laughs> but everyone knows what I mean when I say it. I really don't get it at all. I don't. A anyway, but guys, thank you for joining us here. Ultimate autographs, some UA live breaks. We got a couple things to chat about. Oh, I was yeah. just looking at ESPN. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, Dave, you and I, we are FanDuel members. We yes, do sir. jump on FanDuel. There is a prop bet today oh, for. Luka Doncic and Trey Young. And guys, let me hear your feedback on this too. Uh, they both got to make three three pointers each. Is it for the prop to hit? Is it more than three? So they have to hit or at least three. They, I think it was make or two and a half. Okay, so the over. They got to make three. For both, they both had to hit three three pointers. So my first instinct was take it right away. So that's that's a special, right? That is that's what's called a boosted. Yep, specials terrify me. Because my special last night blew it. Lost. They always do Lost. because Vegas always knows. Right. They know what's going to happen. Right. So they, they they say, "Hey, let's think of something exciting. We'll boost it a little bit. Right. Who cares? Because we know we're going to win." Right. I always get a red flag with the specials. I do like that one. Yeah. Two and a half. That's nothing. For Trey Young, he's pretty much Luka, guaranteed. Luca balls out too. Sure does. He shoots very well. But he the also outside. like it, it depends on you know. I don't watch a lot of NBA. I can't lie. Um, it does it seem like it depends on game script for Luca, whether he is just banging down low or if he's just shooting everything that he gets. Sure. So I think that's a little scary for me. I usually stay away from, I think I was telling you this earlier, I try to stay away from any bets that require two people to do something uh, because if one person eats, the other person doesn't. Sure. But with this one specifically, they're on two separate teams, so it would almost be the opposite where... Trey's balling out on, behind the arc. Luca's got to match Luka him. Luca has to match sure. him exactly. So there's sure, sure, that sure. aspect of it. So the thing I like I about know. this bet, Joe, I'll get your opinion in a second. The thing I like about this bet is that both of their offenses generate around them. Yep. Does that make so? Like, if Luca's hooping, he's gonna have three three pointers in the first quarter. Trey is hooping. That bet cashed out in the first quarter. If it's a slow start for the Mavs, they pull Luca early, mm -hmm. and the Hawks are up by thirty. That's what scares me. I would even be more scared about, I mean, how, how do you know if Luka's going to have 15 assists or 15 threes taken? You know, right. he does everything. So right. it's just so hard to hammer down the type of game he's going to play. Yeah, the whole thing scares me. So yeah. That, so <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I we, we should share the story, Donnie, about what our young uh, behind-the-scenes guy, guru slash uh, future businessman, Johnny boy told us uh, yeah. one day we're in the office here and, and Donnie's looking to possibly Cash play, out. say, a, a bet. And what what a young John, 17-year-old John, tell you to do? Uh, you remember? Yeah, of course I'll remember. I'll never, <laughs> I'll never forget what, what young John, all uh, 17 years old, told me. He said, why don't you just save your money and invest in a Roth IRA? <laughs> I mean, this is from the 17 year old who's again, you oh, know, that's smarter than all of us. I was like defeated. I was like, why would I do that? That's not. That's... Yeah, yeah, you look at him like, because that's not fun. It's not fun. I don't know a Roth IRA. I know Mahomes. <laughs> I know Brady. Like, why would I do that? And eventually, you know what? 
Uh, well, that's lost. I'm, I'm trying to think of like former NBA players or athletes named Roth. Is that right? That, that's where mine was. My mind was going. But uh, Roth, who did he play for? Wait, right. Uh, what is uh, Roth? Is but... he a shooting guard? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So last night there was a, a prop that uh, Donovan Mitchell and Jason Tatum would combine for 65 points. Mitchell had 36. Jason Tatum. Finished with a, a, a lousy 23 and shot seven for 23 from the floor. So there's another prop that I was like, guarantee, put all your money on. Right. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. So what I'm thinking is, after you, you're talking to me about it, but so you can put up to max $50 on this bet. Yeah. 50 pays like 285 or whatever. Yeah. Maybe I'll tone it back a little because I still want some action on it. Okay. Maybe just not all the action that I want. <laughs> What's the odds? Plus four? It's like plus 335. Plus 335-ish. I'm going to throw maybe 20 on it. Let's see what happens. Now, hear me out here. What if you went to the, the player props and just bet on them individually? Can't. You can't bet. Not as, it's not as fun. I like so the, you can. I like the boosted You just draw. won't. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> I will also pick my uh, my four players that I think are going to score the first basket of each game. That's a... Donnie, plus give, me, give me your wallet right now, and I'll just throw it in the water. <laughs> yesterday, I that picked, is a silly bet. <laughs> yesterday, I picked four. So on on Fanduel, you can pick who you think is going to score the first basket of the game. One in ten chance. Okay, I picked four guys. The payout was like eleven thousand dollars for my ten dollar bet, because that's how bad the odds are against. Sure, me. sure. Didn't get one. <laughs> Didn't get not one, one of the four. Not even one. I picked the guys that I thought definitely had a chance, like James Harden. I picked Donovan Mitchell, like. Yeah, none of the four scored the first basket. That that's that that's a tough one because yeah, it, do, it doesn't have to be you know the the top four scores in the game necessarily it could be the guy who averages ten point two or four, or two point yeah, two no. right right. I'm gonna try it again today. Don't do it, Donnie. I'm telling you. Here's the thing, though. Dave and I appreciate your opinion. <laughs> Don't care. Roth I, IRA, you're not, you're not even going there. Couldn't care less. Entertaining oh, that no. idea. I'll be eating my words when you hit it. That's Dude, for sure. I'll be not, I'll be gone. Like, <laughs> you'll never see me I'll again. I'll never see you again. Just R.J. Barrett scored the first bucket for the Knicks. You bet on R.J. Barrett, oh man. I did pick R.J. Barrett. Because I thought it would be an oddball. Because usually the oddballs hit. R.J. Oh, Barrett did not score. Not happening. Happening. Guys, thank you for, for tallying along with us today. We are trying to <laughs> trying to fill up some autographed memorabilia mystery boxes. We're doing some live breaks today. Let me quick do a do a quick breakdown as to how things go in here. If you guys are curious as to what these men are talking about, and we're not uh, usually talking about sports like this, we're usually <laughs> opening uh, autographed mystery boxes. Uh, we are doing uh, what we call a live break or a box opening where we randomize NFL divisions and give guys a chance to win autographed memorabilia for a fraction of the cost. And I think that... You know, some guys uh, put your money in crypto. Just yesterday, I was up over five. <laughs> wow, there you go. Thousand? Is that five thousand dollars? Put Daniel. your money in crypto. Daniel Hunter's got it all figured out. So Boom. let me ask you, what's more fun, crypto, <laughs> or trying to guess who's going to score the first basket of the NBA game? Because in my opinion, I'm going with the NBA games all the time. Like I can invest in crypto whenever. <laughs> but who, who knows? Like who knows what that is? Who knows when the next NBA game is that you'll be able to bet? Who on? knows who's going to score you the first basket? Never know. Right. <laughs> Maybe you just want to take a Good. shot at that Zeke Elliott uh, right. helmet. Uh, right. right. There you go, Joe. That's right. Plug in the buffet series. Boom. I love that. I love that. Uh, <laughs> should be close to filling up our first uh, JJ Swat mini. Uh, Danny Hunter says, Score What's up, the Tim? First... There you go. Bazooka Joe. What's up, brother? My guy right here. Score the first basket for sure. See, that's more fun. I, I agree with that point. Right. We should be really close in the JJ Swat uh, mini. It looks like this is on the. Looks like we need three more spots on that one. Yep. And the JJ SWAT, the, the JJ Watt down here, we don't normally see him uh, in the break room here. So yeah. that's a cool piece. So that's why he's like kind of our big headliner for this series, as he's a guy we've probably seen less than five times since I started working here. And that's, you know, been over two years or so. JJ Watt is a guy we really never see. He never really signs when he does. His stuff is very, uh, you could say, like hoarded. People don't get rid of it yeah. once they have it. Um, doing breaks with Donnie is always more fun. Thank Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I try my best to make it entertaining. When uh, especially when we don't have anything full, we just got to kind of talk. Right? <laughs> right. But it's amazing feeling when you wake up and you are up a ton of money. Are you talking about basketball? Or are you talking about crypto again? Because I think we're yeah, at a, talking about crypto. I think we're at a there. disconnect there. Okay. I think we're. I think it's about just about life in general, and that, 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 that's a good feeling. That right? is a really good feeling. Yeah. No matter how you get that money. <laughs> huh. 
Let's see what else we got going on ESPN. I think we have a couple spots left in the JJ SWAT series. We'll quickly run through the uh, through our live break page for you guys, and we will uh, yeah. So you can head over to ultimateautographs.com in the UA live break tab right here. UA live breaks. You'll see us three right here in the corner. You can scroll through our page and see if there's anything that interests you. In terms of buying in, doing some live breaks, we have two of the general admission tickets posted. Uh, we have Panini Prison Football, Bowman Chrome Hobby, Bowman Chrome HTA. We have some Buffet Platinum Series. Just a quick rundown as to what is available over on the website as of right now. Uh, let's go back to ESPN. Yeah. I think we have one slot left in the uh, one slot. JJ one, SWAT. One mini. spot in the SWAT. That's fun to say. <laughs> I saw the Blackhawks one last night. Two, did two one. They, they did. Yeah. Two one. Two one in overtime. <laughs> Okay. Against Dallas, my Blackhawks playing much better than uh, there's only, I thought. There's only one reason why I knew that, and it goes back to I guess what we can call an unhealthy addiction. Uh, Patrick Kane, there was a prop that he would score two, <laughs> two or more points. All right, but the Blackhawks scored two in general. That's, That's a great prop because he he's been getting two points a night pretty much almost. And he last night he actually no. did not. I mean, one of the uh, he he's been held off the score sheet maybe like twice all year, maybe three mm -hmm. times. I don't know, but. Last night was one of them. Um, he still had a, played well, but that'd be that'd be a really good one because he's he been getting scored. his one or two points every night. Cool. So it was like up until last night, Patrick came to score two points, and I was like, "That seems like a fair prop." Let's, was, as I do for all yeah. props, yeah. Yeah. special or prop. It was a boosted one. As I do for all boosted props, one like, game Man. this year that he hasn't done it, they boosted Absolutely it. Absolutely, dude. How funny. So what do they know? That what we the don't... hell do they know? Uh, Jay said, missed it. Were you talking about the Luca Trey points, assist, rebound, total prop? Barcel is saying 90 plus. To... Uh, no, I was talking about uh, there's a prop on FanDuel right now that they both have to hit three three point field goals tonight. I wish game. we had the bar stool in Illinois. That would be awesome. They Where is that? They have a lot of fun bets on there. Yeah, they do have some cool props, don't they? What's up, Packers? What, what up? up? Dennis Dayton, how you doing? What else we got going on right now? We got uh, we got some soccer going on today. Man City, Man City's playing. We got uh, some. You a soccer guy? I am a big soccer. You are. Guy. I am. Um, I think that I think my soccer knowledge goes a little bit unnoticed because we don't do okay. a ton of soccer stuff. But I have been following soccer for probably you know, four or five years. Oh, wow. I, I do like soccer. I do like soccer. I was a huge FIFA guy. I tried to be a professional FIFA player. Uh -huh. Uh. One thing I did notice, Joe, we didn't do our dice roll. That's right. We didn't get to that yet. Take it away, Let's Joe. Do, let's do the dice roll. What do you say? Take it away, Joe. Hey, right. Garrett Campbell. Garrett mm -hmm. in the house? Garrett's in the house. What's up? Click that eyeball. There you go. You didn't hit the eyeball. There we go. What's UA what? Live break room rule state's got to be what, Joe? Bill Russell or <laughs> higher. That's right. To six. To six or higher. Let's do it. That won't work. It's not going to cut Let's it. Let's do it again. There you go. There we go. Five and a two, a 52, or a seven. Or a, yeah, an out. You just call it a seven. Seven out. So Seven. Dice roll. Take that off. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a keyboard in a weird spot. Oh, there you go. Keyboard's a little slow there. Not seven. There, there we go. Okay. There you go. There it's up there, the lower left on the screen. Seven, so we got that out of the way. Cool. So we're going to run our first break of the afternoon. Yes, we sir. all set with the JJ, JJ Swan. Swat. You betcha. Here we go. Chris Hammer says, Bazooka, you the man. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs> I like the instant fandom you get. I think that's cool. It's honeymoon period still. Right. Wait till you screw up one of the orders. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that's it. Seven times on the dice roll. Do we have two box numbers for JJ SWAT? Number one. <laughs> Oh man. On the left. Oh, there we go. Boom. Boom. That's a natural. Guys a natural. Let's do it. So where will JJ be next season? JJ going to the Packers. That's very possible. 
I could see JJ ending up in uh, Pittsburgh as well because, you know, he has two brothers in the NFL. That would be nuts. Both with Pittsburgh. I saw some Derek Watt. I thought I saw Derek some Watt. Derek White yeah. signed yeah. stuff in the back room, the inventory room. The uh, University of Wisconsin stuff, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. Something a little bit different there for University of Wisconsin. Um, Donnie, you're cool, but more of a sidekick to Bazooka Joe. <laughs> hey, I got to play the part somehow. Yeah. We We're all zero, team players. We have zero cap room in Pittsburgh. That's right, because you yeah. wasted it all on Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, <laughs> we were just talking about We were about just that. talking about that cap pit for next year Woo. for Ben Roethlisberger. What did we say, Dave? It was 40, 41. 41.3? 2.5, yep. Yeah. Yee! It's a lot of dough. So he's getting any he might For an be, old, broken man. He'll even be the start. Right. Will he, will he hold up physically? 22 on the box. We got one more at the double box break. Do we have one more? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> some, some tough decisions for the Steelers this offseason there. That is hard. But a lot of teams, as we know, have issues. Um, there are a lot of tough questions regarding their, their quarterback for the 21 season, including here in Chicago. <laughs> Yeah, Bill, they'll even... start because Rooney and, and the regime don't change. That, that could be the case. You're going to get me crying on screen if you talk about this too much longer, Joe. <laughs> if I hear Carson Wentz's name one more time, oh. I have to get Garrett right. here. We got another box number, 19. We got 22 and 19 on the, on the minis. J.J. Swat. J.J. Swat. Let me do the honors here. I'll do the opening, and I'll... Do my best. You know what's kind of cool, Joe? You can actually look in this little viewfinder if you ever need a look. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. It's pretty nice. High quality tech. Right? This is an awesome hit. So this guy recently has kind of been on social media because of his intelligence on the field. Talking about how he knew what play was coming uh, before... The play was even happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, we really appreciate this guy. Unexpectedly kind of retired at the end of last season. We have a Carolina Panthers guy. It's going to be Luke nice. Keekley. Nice. Luke Keekley for the Panthers. NFC South. It comes with Charles. I recognize that name There you go, Charles. Here. Charles G. That's a great head. There you go. Luke Keekley. Nice. Tim tried to guess Romo. Uh, Romo does know the plays before they're happening, but from a broadcaster <laughs> standpoint. Yeah. Keekly well, was on the field. And knew. I like Luke Keekly. I think he's fantastic. He's just a he's a classic football guy. Bummer he retired so early. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he took a lot of hits to the head. Like, very yeah, there much was a, though. There was a one, I don't know, was it a Monday night game or a Sunday? Yeah, I, I can't remember when, where he was his staggering that is so i'll tell you head injuries to me i was talking to my wife about this other day sometimes when you see a head injury whether it's hockey or football those are more tougher to look at for me than when you see like the the the, the broken leg where the bones like sticking sure. out i mean the head injuries just start yeah because tough to watch. right because you know with a broken leg you can assess a broken leg right away yeah you know right but you feel that like i've seen a hockey players have their heads bounce off the ice yeah. uh, after an awkward fall. Right. This is JJ Swat, box 22 for break. I'm sorry, did we do 22? We, the, the box number? Yeah, 22, right? 22. Yeah, we got 19 and 33 in the box numbers. I put 22. Do we have 22? Looks, Looks like yeah, we, we had Jonathan Lang call out 22. Cool. Okay. 22 works for me. And our hit is going to be a Green Bay Packer. Green Bay Packers, it's going to be Dave Robinson, Hall of Famer, class of 2013. Look at this. I think Dennis is actually a Packers to Bay, and he knocked down a Packers item. Oh, Dave nice. Robinson. Good hit. Dave Robinson. Always nice to see a Hall of Famer. Everybody has a different opinion of what a headliner is. To yeah. some, Dave True. Robinson, awesome hit. Yeah. Headliner. Uh, he played, he, i got to believe he played on those Packer teams, the Super Bowls, uh, one and two championship teams, right? Yeah, because that's going way it. back. Because Hall of Famer 2013, he would have been, you know, out of the league for five years in 2013. 
2008. Who knows how long it took him to get in there, but Dave Robinson, that's a nice hit. I was saying Watt was in 22. I was AFC South. Okay, gotcha. Bill Pettit said he played for the Spurs, too. That's pretty cool. Did he? You know that. So are we talking like 60s then? Maybe. Yeah. Gotta be, right? Wait, what class is he in for Hall of Fame? 2013. 2013. I think it just been a guy who got in late. Late, you know. Late, late. late. We should have seen those guys. Yeah. What year? He was, on, he was in 60s. Yeah. He, he had to be on those Super Bowl championship team, right? Two Super Bowl championship teams and won a total of three NFL titles with the Packers. Yeah, because I think he even played before there were Super Bowls. Three he played Super on those, those NFL teams. championships. Yeah, so. so he won one NFL championship and then two Super Bowls. I mean, aren't there about a dozen Packers wow. from those Super Bowls? In the Hall of Fame. One and two. Uh, yeah, like a Marv, one and two like Marv Fleming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was like the longest Super Bowl snub or Hall of Fame snub. Yeah. I remember people wanted him in back. Jerry Kramer's another guy who got in late, late. Jerry right. Kramer's right. Thank God, still alive because he he waited forever to get in. But yeah. so many great uh, actors from those teams, as you can imagine. Of course, Bart Starr. Right. So Bart Starr, we had on our Star Struck series. Oh, that was One of the best that series. was sweet. That was awesome. that was sweet. So he played in Super Bowl one and two. Another fun fact: guys playing in the NBA. Uh, Bud Grant, who's the coach for the Minnesota Vikings, played for the um, for the Lakers, Los really? Angeles Lakers, when they were the Minnesota Lakers. No way. But uh, cool. you guys are fact. pretty young. Bud but Grant? do you remember? Do you know the, know the name Dave DeBusher? Dave, yeah, Dave I do. DeBusher. He played for the uh, Boston Wait, Celtics, if I'm not mistaken. The Knicks. Knicks. Should know Dave DeBusher in the White Sox. I want to say. Yeah. That sounds, so, that sounds exactly right. I mean, yeah. I've heard of that name. He's even older than me. He's but, yeah. Wow. I'm yeah. Just I'm telling. <laughs> right? We're like way up there in age. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Before you ship, I'll be playing tomorrow also. <laughs> so in case I win, you can ship them all in one box. Uh, it's actually not a problem. Uh, Steve, who runs shipping, will be able to ship everything from this afternoon today. So we'll get that on its way. But thank you very much. So uh, like, we'd like to get everything out as soon as possible so that way. No, no delay on our end in the back room. So, but again, appreciate that concern. That's very nice of you. Yeah, Danny Ainge, of course. Uh, Danny Ainge. Call there, Bill. Good player. Danny Ainge, good player. Blue Jays, Celtics, of course. Celtics, yeah, many, he was a good player. Many NBA teams. I mean, Danny Ainge. But... We could talk about multi-sport athletes. I mean, Deion Sanders played in a World Series yeah. and a Super Bowl. I'm nuts. He didn't yes. play in the World Series, unfortunately. What did I say? What, what he, did you... he was there. He was in the dugout. Oh, but he was on a team that was in the World Series. Yeah, he like he got flown out and all that stuff. Right. And then I think he did an interview about it one day. Well, I think the one he game like, he didn't play, wasn't it? It well, so he wanted like so they flew like they made this whole big deal about getting him to the World Series because he had an NFL game. Like, yes. That day or something or the day before. Yeah, with the Falcons. And so they flew him out. Right. And then he didn't even play in the game. Which I mean, put him in for, for the baseball game. Yeah. Well, so was know. he a consistent player too for the for both rosters when he was there? It was more the Falcons. Uh, yeah, but he was a good baseball player. Great, I knew he was a great, great, great base, base dealer. Yeah, I yeah. knew he was a great football player. I knew he played every every NFL game that he yep. you know was probably a part of. He was in. Yep. Um, you know, I don't, I just don't remember hearing a ton about his baseball career, but he's in the MLB. Yeah, you hear about multi-sport athletes that don't make it to the professional level baseball, mm -hmm. i.e., Michael Jordan, yep. who played Double A. The top of his Makes career, sense, yeah. batted a career two fourteen. Great, great thirty for thirty on that one. Sunrise yes, rise the bus. Yes, awesome. That is an awesome thirty for thirty. The, the Dion thirty for thirty is outstanding. People awesome, were they're interviewing awesome. him in an airport hangar. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just was like you got to go big time for for Dion and uh, interviewing him in an airport hangar. Yeah. I thought was fabulous. It's wild. Multi sport athletes, they're crazy. I mean, just to be that talented mm -hmm. in two different categories, you know, it's wild. We did post up another JJ Swap mini. Looks like we got a couple spots taken in that one. Carlo, Ryan, and Jay are in. We have uh, we have uh, some minis. We have Starstruck, General Admission, Pigskins, Platinums, uh, the Black Box almost the complete NFLs. We also have some cards. If anybody wants to run some card breaks. Yes, sir. That General Admission series, Donnie, that's... That's fun with the the slab tickets. I love that series. Yeah, I think Very it's cool. I think it's one of the coolest things that we had done in some recent time. You're not gonna find those anywhere else. And it's it's probably gonna be a one off item for us. We're yeah. gonna have those one time, and then that's gonna be it. Yeah. Tim Vasco is another good point. Tim Hard Tebow. Again. Tim Tebow is trying to become a professional Mets baseball player. I think he's in Triple A last time that I had heard anything about Tim Tebow playing baseball. 
Is that today still? I thought that was more like. Well, maybe I think he's like still in their organization. He's still yeah. part of the organization. But I don't know if he's At good enough level to, to play. I mean, at the MLB level, but yeah, the he's sense, that huh? close. But <laughs> probably the Mets. Yeah, yeah you mean, can do. It. We can be here an hour talking about great multi-sport athletes. Right. Uh, yeah. He's in still, yeah, still, still in Triple A. Still, still the Mets organization, right, Tim? Yeah, he's collecting paychecks exactly. from the Mets and doing college football broadcasting. Yeah. He's he's, he's got doing, it. Made. He's doing it right. He's got he it. Made. What he's doing? He's got okay. it. Made. I think that. I don't know. They definitely want to sell tickets. They have a very I mean, productive right. counterpart in New York that sells a lot of tickets. If uh, it would be the. If ticket sales weren't a thing when Jordan was trying to play baseball, they wouldn't have even. He wouldn't have seen the minor leagues. He, they wouldn't have even talked to him. <laughs> they, maybe they would have had a phone call with him. I don't know. But there's no way. He was so miserable. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no, I agree. Ticket sales with players like that sometimes. Sometimes that's the dream. But, man. Members. I mean, but, again, there's a dream for people. Like, you know, he felt like he had accomplished everything that he wanted to and thought he could take on another challenge. And I don't think people knock him for that. No, not at all. Uh, and then he came back and won three more championships. Which is incredible. Yes. Um, when he rocked number I guess there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it to, you know, for ticket sales. The only thing I, I have a little issue with is for baseball. That farm system is so grueling to go through. True. And they say take like a spot away from a guy that actually has a chance just to sell tickets in your double A team is a little tough. Right. But at the same time, business. It's a business. It's a business. That's exactly right. Tim says he agrees with you and he got a special pass. MJ, yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> See that. Definitely. What do you guys think about some trivia? You want to do a little we'll trivia? Do a little, let's do a little trivia. We're trying to fill up a couple more boxes, guys. Yeah. If you guys are interested in jumping in any breaks, I will run a little bit of trivia. That sounds like fun. Three spots left still in the uh, number two JJ slot. Lots of spots available in that general admission. And those are 10 spot breaks, if I phrase that correctly, Correct. Donnie. Correct. Call that a top spot wins break. So we, we open up the item. We get everybody in the break a little bit attached to the item. Say, oh, man, that is cool. I would love to win that. We <laughs> randomize the list, and the top spot is the winner of that break. Good stuff. Now, what we preface before we run a little trivia, Dave mm -hmm. Everding is the master class trivia individual when it comes to ultimate autographs. I do like my trivia. Dave puts a new trivia question on the board every day. Yes, sir. I don't know how long it's going to last. Hopefully forever. As long as you can handle it. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this trivia. <laughs> oh, I've got it coming. I can have a new question every hour if you want it to be too. That's a lot of trivia. It's a lot of trivia. Um, but yes, I do love my trivia. Right now we've got Garrett is making a strong push for first place against our inventory man, Luke. <laughs> so they've got a little, I right. do a monthly tally of scores, and then we right. got a prize at the end of the month. So right now, Garrett, shout him on, but Donnie, Joe, you guys are in the running still. Plenty right. of time left. I had missed a big one that everybody else had got, the George Foreman question. Yeah, that was a, that was a big mess. That was I think a, everybody in the office got it except for me. Pointers. How I do it is if you get you get two guesses, if you get it right on your first guess, you'll get three points. If you get it right on your second guess, you get one point. Anything after that is zero. Right. Um, I will hit them with. I'll do our day, our daily trivia, the office daily trivia today. Um, so Garrett, if you're watching, well, we don't want to give it away for everybody that's watching in the office. All right, fair enough. I won't do that. I won't do that. I'll do you another can't, one. Can't have that happen. I will do. All right. So, how about this one? What is the only Super Bowl? In history, that the Nevada sports books have not been profitable from. That's a good one. Ooh. That's a good one. People in the chat, too, make sure you put your comments in so we can read the comments as they kind of stroll in. But Trivia Dave can trivia. call on you on the chat. Yeah. Hey, trivia Dave, <laughs> that's like it. it. That's Trivia gotta, Dave. Everyone's got to have a moniker. I'll take it. Hey, you got Bazooka Joe. That's a Don uh, Father. Don Father, Trivia Dave. And we got Gare Gare, Bear. Gare Bear. We got, uh, <laughs> what's, oh, Johnny Boy. Johnny, Johnny Boy. Boy. <laughs> Johnny Boy, Smart John. Notre Dame John. CEO. CEO. We're just going to call him CEO. Stevie Two Jobs. Stevie Two Jobs. I got you, Tim. All right, here we go. What is the only Super Bowl that the Nevada sports books have not been profitable from? Great. The only one. I'll tell you, they lost about $2.5 million this year. Um, and that's great the question. only one. And specifically, this is Nevada sports books. That's just kind of the basis I use for sports betting. Um, 
Who played in that one? Number 32. I don't, it's not 32. I can tell you that. It's, uh, it's more recent than that. That's a, that's a hint there, but. 32. Wow. I think you just guessed the number. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, I don't, I don't knock you for guessing. It is more like... recent than that. I'll give you another hint. It was a big underdog win. Right. Well, I was going to say that, if, thinking logically, yep. it'd have to be an upset. An so when was the last big, or what was the biggest upset right. yep. in Super Bowl history? That's, that, I mean, that's almost a trivia question or another topic you can talk about for, mm -hmm. a, for a while in, in itself. I think they would probably go hand in hand for probably this question. And then if I were to ask, what's the biggest underdog upset? It's one of those. Tim, Eagles the is a very popular answer I've gotten for this question. That is not correct. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, like that Super Bowl where Eli Manning beat, beat the Patriots. I don't know what number that is. Looks like we got it from Packers to Bay. Pats and Giants, you're absolutely is, right. Is that, that, there that were it? two of those. Right. I'll accept it. You are is also that correct. It, it was the, uh, Eli the Manning. first of the two when the Patriots were undefeated. Yep. Going into the Super Bowl, they were 12-point favorites, right. and they ended up losing. And that was the famous David Tyree catch. The right. catch. The catch. Uh, also, Chris Chris Chiros, our, our operations manager, did... He chimed in there. He sent me a slack, and he was, you were correct, Chris. You, you did say it before. Nice job, um, Chris. Still one of the most amazing catches ever. Most amazing that, that, yeah, that one was awesome. That, you know, mm -hmm. helmet catch, basically. Right. And then where he bounced up just before he the ball hit the turf, which probably would have caused the fumble. Or it's almost like the DB, I forgot who tackled him on the play. But um, where he kind of like bounced off his shoulder pad where he, the ball was going to, you know, he had the ball braced on his helmet, basically. <laughs> he was going to like hit the turf. And then he bounced back up right. and then was able to, to hold the catch, but yeah, there you go. Incredible play. So Incredible what Super Bowl is that, Dave? That, I don't know which don't number know that number. was. I was more just looking is that for the like, teams. Is that 10 years? That was, it was 2011? Yeah, 10 years. No, 2008, excuse me. Eight. A little more. That's already been. So 2008. Gosh, 12 years. Excuse me. <laughs> you go. Robert Turley says, are we going to have a talk show? You guys going to do some cards? Robert, <laughs> you can do some cards, my man. We got to fill them up, Robert. We are, uh, right now we're just trying to, you know, chat a little while we try to fill up a couple boxes, but, uh, Nothing wrong with a nice afternoon sports talk show. Yeah, I'm cool. With yeah, that. they're they're done for America. Like, this is like so. the view for us. You're watching the <laughs> right. Ultimate Autographs view. Right. <laughs> I'll be. Um, who is even on the view? Um, I don't watch that. I know what you're you're talking about, but I don't even know anybody on. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, Whoopi Goldberg sounds right. right doesn't is it? she still on it? I would assume. What else has she been doing? Two spots left in our JJ SWAT number two. <laughs> Double box break. We got seven spots left in the complete helmet number two. Two spots left, complete helmet number one. Oh. Looks like we can fill up some helmet breaks. Yes, dead time. Talk it up. That's what we're trying. That's right. Trying my best. <laughs> What's the deal with the cards? No one's Charlie's buying the giving cards me, yet. Charlie's giving me heat for trying to kill dead time. That is that is <laughs> that is tough. That's a tough crowd. <laughs> Turley, give me a break. Oh. Mickey Mouse gloves. Those are surgical gloves. Doctor well, Don. Well, so we need your other moniker well, for you. It's actually an odd. It's a nod. Uh, a nod to when we first did car breaks. I had like white, like Michael Jackson cloth gloves. <laughs> 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 they look so stupid. But I was like, in the moment, I was like, man, these are looking killer. And then I went back to watch the video, and I was like, these are, those are bad. Uh, so then sorry. we had a couple. So uh, those that the, they hence the Mickey Mouse gloves. That's where Robert. Gloves. That's where Robert gets that from. Yeah, Mickey Mouse Funny. gloves. Ozzy's wife, I think, also on there. Ozzy's wife. What does he mean? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ozzy Osbourne's wife on the View is what he's talking about. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that uh, Osbourne? Yeah, Sharon. Sharon Osbourne. Sharon. Good call. You, Dave. Dave. That's trivia, Dave. <laughs> Guy knows his Osbournes. Uh, other than the, the bat incident and Sharon, that's about all I can tell you well, about those. He those sang the two. national anthem at Wrigley Field in one of the oh, worst God. national anthem performances that we'd was, ever seen. That was bad. I remember that now. <laughs> the Ozzy? Ozzy. It was yeah. bad. Yeah. It was really bad. <laughs> I saw Ozzy there. I'm thinking Ozzy Gian. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, Ozzy. Ozzy oh, Osbourne. Ozzy. It, was, all right. it was terrible. Yeah. Send you some for my work hospital. That'd be cool. Tim, I'll take those. We'll take all the hospital goods we can get. Right. I'm actually sure that they, you know what? Actually, the hospitals probably need them a little bit more than we do. I was going to say, let's leave them. those to the hospital. Let's, yeah, let's leave those to the professionals. They probably need those more. There is a human pandemic, but. 
Oh, that thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, that pandemic thing? My... Oh. <laughs> Dude, uh, Travis, that's not the first time that someone has said that to me, that I look like Miles Teller, uh, an actor ha. from War Dogs, and... Uh, I see it. I... I see it. That was a thing in college that people used to tell me. Is that right? Good. Roseanne Barr was the worst national anthem? Yes, I would agree with that, uh, Craig. Never seen it. Rose, is that Roseanne from Roseanne? Like yes. The show Roseanne? Yes. Oh. It was at a Padres game, I believe. Okay. Yeah, it was... She purposely... She didn't even sing it. She basically just talked it. Uh, like, read it, I should say. Oh. And fast and just... You know, I've got to watch it. Should have been banned from every stadium after that. Baseball. Still, still two spots left in the uh, JJ SWAT mini. We did just fill up that complete helmet. Boom. Okay. Boom. If you guys, would like to give us a box over for the complete helmet. If you guys are in the live break, we'll get that uh, get that break updated here on the bottom for you guys. There it is. Steve J. Bill Ty Briscoe. That's a good name. Michael Walker, Travis Blankenship, Austin Caldwell, and Paul Z. Uh, there we go. Tim says, hey, Roseanne. Can you hold that for one second, Donnie? I just need to make sure one thing. Real yep. Quick. We will not randomize until you say it's good to go. I apologize. It looks like somebody brought bought into number two, not number one. It is not full yet. Okay. That Ooh, is my fault. Go back. I'm glad I caught that. Never mind. Oh. I apologize. Let me see here. Who did I put into one that belongs in two? Get that list cleaned up in just a second. We got uh, we got trivia. Dave concentrating more on uh, trivia than yeah. Saturday we've been just, we've been distracting you. I... <laughs> yeah, that's my bad, Dave. I'll that's take our bad. All good. That's I'll take the heat. I'll figure that out. Give me one second. <laughs> Trust me, as, as someone who's been doing the the back room ops kind of stuff uh, recently, it requires my it requires your full concentration. The first time I did the back room, I got a little like headache in the back. I hadn't felt that since like college freshman year math, I think. So it was, uh, it could get to you. So it's tough. I apologize. It's tough. I apologize. We found later. the culprit. We are all good. Hitting those lats daily in the gym. That's good, Brad. Good thing. Got those Cobra lats. Turley says he's done. You're going to break some cards in a moment. I'm trying to rip that complete helmet. Need one more spot in that one. Okay. Bring it down. Oh, and there we go, Charles. My oh, man. Cool. Break that helmet. Uh, here we go. Right. Helmet one. Packers, two base. So Dennis says, who is the first running back to get the Super Bowl MVP? So helmet one is good. Yes, helmet one is good. Super Bowl MVP. Well, that's a hard one. Uh, oh. Probably going to be old. Let me think about that. Uh, Bill called 39. Okay, cool. 39. Uh, got seven times on the randomizer there. Thank you, Joe. 39 to 70. Here we go. Actual memorabilia we could talk about for a second. Not Roseanne. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Box 39, guys. Thank you for the fill. Here we go. Okay. JSA COA. And our hit is going to be a longtime Michigan man. It was a punt returner, kick returner for the Vikings. Also a wide receiver. Anthony Carter. Anthony Carter. Travis Blankenship in the NFC North. That's going to be our nice looking. Nice little Vikings throwback replica. Anthony Carter. Robert said, I really like this new studio that I helped pay for. <laughs> well, Robert, if we need a garage door installed, we know where to go. <laughs> Anthony Carter, isn't he? Like he graduated as like Michigan's all-time leading receiver, like in everything. Is that right? I think so. Anthony Carter. Travis 
Travis, good hit. Reason. Yeah, we're we're in that uh Ooh, vortex. vortex in Chicago where we're still getting snow enough already. It's miserable. Right? More today, ten, I think. Another inches inch or three, and then this weekend today? more snow. We're supposed to get like an inch or three. Oh I heard today. But Seriously yeah. So supposed to be getting warmer in theory as we progress through the calendar, isn't it? But not yet, not Chicago. Charlie said, I just bought the last spot in the complete helmet one. Don't see my name. Order number 4463. I got him in there. I updated that for you. Sorry, Charles. So is that in two now? So, yeah, you want to give him a spot in number two? Charles? Yep. Charles is in number one. He was the one that closed out number one. And then Ty was the one that I had put in number one. Oh, you know what? We, uh, they were differing okay. numbers there. Okay, so we have a uh, list. Interesting. Okay, let's put uh, Charles in box break two because we had missed him on the randomizer. It was uh, not updated on our end, and we randomized the list. Okay. So did you have Ty in number one? No. Who did you have in number one? Then? Yeah. Ty Briscoe? Yeah. Yes, that is right. Okay. I think initially when we had the list, when I copied gotcha. the list, it was not... Yeah, Charles was, we was not in there. Jeez, okay. We heard, we heard it was closed, and we hadn't been... Uh, it was like two seconds after that. Okay. We haven't been open and boxed in a second. Charles, um, we're going to get you a, a spot in complete oven number two, my man. Sorry yeah. about that. Thank you. You actually saved yourself because you would have had the AFC West. Because we had Ty as our closer. All right. So we'll get you in complete helmet two. Charles P. Charles P. will get you in complete helmet number two. Apologize about that. Uh, Tattoo Tyrant said misspelled last name. Uh, B-L-A-N. Okay. How about that? Maybe it's good luck that we misspelled your last name because you actually ended up winning the helmet. <laughs> okay. Figured that. All right, cool. Thanks, Kevin. All right. Charles, gotcha, man. Thank you for being uh, cooperative and understanding there. We will get you a spot in complete helmet number two, no problem. All right, Charlie, we got you in complete helmet number two. Just filled up JJ SWAT number two. We are in, we are all in order to do a mini helmet break. JJ SWAT number two. I think we had a, a request for, what did we, do? we got 20, 21, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, we'll get that over yeah. the There we go. Nice job. Yeah, Charles picks the box. That that works. Charles, if you want to pick the box for our complete helmet break number two, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we apologize about that. Me and Joe are moving quick over here. <laughs> Dave couldn't keep up. 25. 25, and you want to give me one more. Double box break, JJ SWAT number two, 25, 21. That works. 25 and 21. Here we go. Cool. Let's check this list. All right, there we go. All right, guys. Good luck. Thank you for the fill. We got a double box break 21 and 25. 
21 and 25. Okay. We got a Beckett COA right here. And our hit is going to be Dallas Cowboy. Probably a throwback hit right here. Drew Pearson. Drew Pearson. May have to uh, get some extended information about Mr. Drew Pearson. I'm not super familiar with the name, but that is a brand new name here for our UA Live Breaks. That goes to Jay in the NFC East. Wide receiver, former uh, Super Bowl champion. I, I think Cowboy pretty much was probably a Super Bowl champion if they, play, if they played in the... Uh, in the 70s or the 80s. Right. Um, but yeah, Drew Pearson, <coughs> great player. There you go, Joe. Right. There you got my back there. Mm -hmm. you guys got me covered. Well, you weren't oh, even it's... born when Drew Drew Pearson was playing, so. It's all right. It's all right. They got Google. I know. They got Google out there. Box one, Drew Pearson, Cowboys hit. Speed rep mini. Looks like he wrote a number 88 on there. Rock number 88. Before Michael Michael Irvin was number eighty eight, wasn't he? I'm not mistaken. I'm not good on my numbers. Uh, there was a Preston Pearson back uh, for the Cowboys too, back in the day, back in that same era. I don't, I don't think they were related. So Matt, I bring up something and then I just add, I just like compound my questions. I, I that's all right. Yeah. Show off and knowledge a little bit, Drew. Yeah, Drew, Drew Pearson. Pearson. Yeah, I was thinking, Hall didn't he just go in this last week that class, right, Drew How Pearson? There you go, Jay. You got yourself a fresh Hall of Famer. Yeah, we know a little bit more. JSA, COA, other half of the Hail Mary. So it looks like this is a pretty well-known name with you guys. Thank you for helping us out right there. Drew Pearson on the hit. Turned out to be a little bit bigger hit than we uh, anticipated. Love to see that. <laughs> Second hit is going to be the Los Angeles Chargers. We got ourselves a Pro Bowl running back. It's Natrone Refried Means. Ryan go. Berge. Ryan Berge, AFC West, Chargers, Natrone, means business. Not a bad hit at all. Like I said, was a Pro Bowl running back for the Chargers. Ryan, good hit. Take that. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Ready. Looks like we have Bowman HGA and Bowman Hobby ready to go. I think uh, Robert Turley has closed us out on those breaks, if I'm not mistaken. We could run and grab those. Is that the last thing that's full, Dave? The it Bowman? looks like it. Okay, give me one moment and we'll go grab uh, each of those boxes. Cool. Yeah, we got six spots left in the complete helmet two. Six spots left in the starstruck full size helmets. The buffet platinum still got seven spots there remaining. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Donald? You're good. That's good. We do some cards here? Rip some cards. Joe, you want to hand me two of those gloves to your bottom left? Thank you, sir. Dr. Rollins. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Uh, Tattoo Tyron is looking for that Starstruck series to fill up. Try that. We'll try to get there. You guys want to jump in? How many spots we got left in Starstruck? Six, six left still in the Starstruck. Six spots in the Starstruck. All right, go over to the Bowman HTA tab for me. Don't even have to randomize. Oh, we, that's easy peasy. Easy peasy. Steady. Uh, swap personal order 45640 for J. You don't have to do it. Let's just leave it there. Huh? Yep. 
Uh, with those, that series goes up to number 45, Jonathan. Um, yeah, that series goes all the way up to 45 if you'd like to give us your personal box. Start at 25, however. We have 20, 23, 24 in here. So that way we're not picking one that we don't have. Card camera up. There you go. There it is. All right, Rob. All right, Robert, let's see what we got for you on this Wednesday afternoon. We'll do some cards. Uh, 34, please. Okay, cool. Maybe we'll have Stevie Two Jobs bring in number 34. You know he's watching in the other room. He's getting ready to ship. He's he's on top of it, man. Steve is on top of it. All right, Robert, here we go. All right, we'll run H. We'll run the HTA first. HTA first, and then we'll run the Bowman Hobby, and then we'll get back into some memorabilia breaks. Let's knock the table over. All right, here we go. Get some card knowledge going for you, Joe. I'll try my best. Yeah. Try my best to to explain. And yeah, these are not the cards I collected when I when I was a kid. No. <laughs> a little bit different now. Now there's different searches, different hunts for stuff. All right, let's see what we got. Robert, good luck. Again, we're looking for big time prospect on-card autos in our Bowman product. Big time prospect on-card autos. Ooh, we got a good one in here. I believe I saw a little bit of a gold shimmer in this box. We have our first auto. It is Paul Riken. He's a pitching prospect for the Detroit Tigers. Pitching prospect for the Detroit Tigers. Paul Riken. Carolina League All-Star went 10-5 and five with a 3.97 ERA and 17 starts last season for the Detroit Tigers. And we have a gold shimmer. This could be big. It is Tyler Dyson. Washington Nationals looks like another pitching prospect for the Nationals. Gold shimmer. Look how beautiful that, that is. is. Sweet card. I love these. This is why you wear the gloves. Number 19, Washington Nationals prospect Wow. Pitcher, it's kind of like a middle reliever, it looks like. Went 2-1 and one with a 1.14 ERA for Auburn in 2019. Woo! That's a beautiful hit. It's gorgeous. Very nice card, Robert. Congrats on that. Two pitchers. And our third one is going to be Ramifer Salinas. You've got a hitting prospect here for the New York Yankees. New York Yankees, Ramifer Salinas. The number 11 prospect in 2019 Gulf Coast League by Baseball America. Hit safely in 12 of the first 16 games. Let his squad hit steals, doubles, and runs. Good player. And Yankees do very well on the market. <laughs> People are always hunting Yankees prospect. That's a nice hit. Robert, not bad at all on your personal Bowman HTA box. We have Rainfer Salinas. Then our middle card was the Tyler Dyson Gold Shimmer, numbered to 50. I think you did well in this box. And Paul Riken is a pitching prospect for the Detroit Tigers. Oh, thank you, Steve. Oh, you can put that right over there. I don't do cash. No, we know, we know. Steal your thunder. Hey, you want to take this first one for Robert? Yes, sir. Well, Donnie, you and I have talked about prospects this year. With not having minor league baseball last year in 2020, it's kind of hard to figure out. These these guys who rank prospects, right. it's a tough gig this year. It's always tough. It's true. But not knowing... You know how guys are going to respond after having not played right. a full season. It's also uh, crazy it's interesting to think about the effect of like you know the talks of all of these teams not being around anymore. Like half of the minor league teams are like getting disbanded and stuff yep. like that. Yeah, be really a lot of young guys out of jobs. Yeah, <laughs> uh, who play play professional baseball. It'll be very very interesting. And the interesting part you'll 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 hear about professional baseball players in, in double A, single A, almost taking up second jobs. Yeah. while they're playing they do because you know they're not getting paid a ton to play in double a single a baseball so that'll be really interesting to see you know 
what plan what what kind of plans guys have for this upcoming season? I mean, we feel that I mean, we'd like to see those guys make it to the league, yeah. obviously, but it doesn't happen for everybody. I think you have like a one percent chance of making the the league or it's, something crazy it's low. Nuts, not small. But these guys in these packs have a great chance of making the league, mm -hmm. and we appreciate them. Here we go. We have a green Charlie Blackman. That's a nice hit. Charlie Blackman, number to ninety nine for the Colorado Rockies. Good hit. Alvaro Cejas, two point eight ERA stat tracker card. I like those stat trackers. Sometimes you'll see some wild stats that these kids are putting up in the minors. Mm -hmm. And that's what gets those guys noticed. Zach Gallen, rookie. Lindor, we have a Dawn of Glory Paredes insert. Steel Walker and Christian Pache. Good player for the Braves. Next pack, here we go. Sean Murphy, rookie. J.D. Martinez, we have Miguel Amaya. Tubby's Tubby. insert. Amaya, McCarthy, Kiebert, Ruiz. Yesterday we pulled an Adbert Elzale number to 25 that rookie. That was really cool. That was a nice card. That was a very nice card. Dustin May is loaded in this product. Freddie Freeman, Braden Shoemake, batting average stat tracker 379. Very nice. Chachi Bar says 2021, the year of independent baseball. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we actually had one of our local teams here in the Chicago suburbs that's going to play independent baseball. Is it the Chicago Dogs? They right. were... Ooh, here we go. We got a William Contreras. So. William Contreras to four ninety nine. dollars County, actually. William Contreras, younger brother to Wilson Contreras, who currently plays with the Cubs. Yes, sir. He's actually a high-rated prospect. Yeah, William Braves. Contreras. Yeah. Right. yeah. Final pack. Box one, Justin Dunn, Matt Chapman, and your auto is Ethan Lindau for the Phillies. Ethan Lindau, pitching prospect, compiled a 5.4 strikeout to walk ratio in 2019. Won 5-2 with a 2.6 ERA for Lakewood. 2018 baseball All-American single A All-Star. So this guy might be a ways out from the league, but still nice to invest and hold on to. As these Bowman prospect cards sell for tons once they make it to the league and are impactful in the MLB. Two boxes. Two mini box in one, uh, they call it like a mega box in this product. Each mini box guarantees one chrome autographed in this product. Dave, how are we looking on some memorabilia? Haven't had anything come in uh, since you last asked me. Okay. Looks like we've got... DeGrom, Brendan McKay, rookie. Followed by an Isaac Paredes batting average card, 291. Brutalage and Varsho. The last two cards of these are just veteran base cards. Sometimes we kind of skip by those. We're looking for the big rookies, that's why. Machado, greater all. We have a green shimmer. This card came upside down. Kyle Muller. Kyle Muller for the Braves, number to 99. M-U-L-L-E-R, probably Muller. Muller. Mm -hmm. Nice card. Green Shimmer. That's cool. We have a Eusenio Diaz and Mike Ciani. Blake Snell. Luis Robert, rookie. There we go. Luis Robert, Spencer Howard, Philadelphia Phillies, Bobby Witt, and Francisco Alvarez. Run that personal after we do this. Yes, sir. Rendon. Abraham Toro, rookie for the Astros. And then we have a Riley Green. This kid is a stud prospect. Stud prospect for the Detroit Tigers. It's cool. It's good looking. Yeah, this is a cool card. His first Bowman stuff is through the roof, Mr. Riley, Riley Green. Yeah, he yeah. sells for a ton. A ton. Okay, we have Whit Merrifield. We have Shohei Otani. We have a purple rookie for Greater All. Number to 250, you got a purple Roostar Greaterall. Roostar, pitching prospect rookie for the Dodgers, played on the roster last year. So that's why he gets that Bowman RC and not a Bowman first. And it is not his first year in Bowman product, but he does get a rookie, meaning that last year was his rookie season. Here we go. Final box. We have a blue. Let's see something big. Let's see it. Come on. Mookie Betts, Tony Gonsolin, a blue 
Devin Mann, another hit for the Dodgers. Number to 150, Devin Mann. High single-A All-Star, California Player of the Month for June. University of Louisville guy. Go. Second base, third base, kind of a utility infielder for the Dodgers. That's a blue number to 150 on the auto. Bryce Terang and Matthew Librator close out that box. Recap the hits. We have a Charlie Blackman Green, number to 99. We have a William Contreras, kind of a refractor, they call these, to 499. We have a Kyle Muller Green Shimmer Parallel. Green Shimmer Parallel to 99. Greater All to 250. It's a purple. Two autos. Ethan Lindau for the Phillies, a pitching prospect. First Bowman on card auto. And Devin Mann, non-first Bowman, but still a nice blue to 150. I have a question for you, baseball card Donnie. <laughs> when, what's the best way to um, protect your cards? I mean, you see you see sure. those you know hard cases. Are there are ones that are cheap and one that are, are better ones. Like even if you have, like Joe here, uh, <laughs> cards from the 70s or 80s, what have you. Is there a best kind of covering or case for these to uh, so they won't fade or anything like that? That's a great question. The, uh, the ideal situation for a card is to be in a sleeve and then what's called a top loader. So a top loader, they run like three bucks for a pack of 100. So those are the hard plastic? Hard plastic yeah. covers. Yeah, and then depending on the card and the size, you can do a, a magnet one-touch case. I've which seen is Like those. a magnet down. Mm -hmm. Something that is a little bit more expensive. Um, but yeah. I would worth it. Yes. Those so magnet, yeah. they're, called, they're called what? Magnet? One, one touches. One touch. I've yeah. seen those. They're cool, but uh, they're pricey. Pricey. You have to really pick and choose what you put in. Did you ever collect cards, Dave? No, I never really got into cards. Um, I had a couple when I was younger, but I didn't know what I was looking at or looking for, to be honest. Well, back you know, back in the day, I mean, there were all kinds of cards, not only for sports cards, right? But there were was the Cabbage Patch. I mean, oh yeah, series all had collect you know collectible cards. Yeah, I mean, some of those can be worth some good money. Definitely. Donnie, I've got a card question for you. I'm just going on. The mic seems to be going in and out. Yeah. Give me one second. Let me try to fix this. I'm going to mute the mic for a second. Let me try to get it fixed. Hopefully that, hopefully that helped a little. Let me listen in. That did, that did not help at all. Did not. Okay. It's breaking up a little bit. Yeah, it seems to be going in now. Hold on one second. Let me try to. All right. Let's see how that did. Let's see if that made. Let's see how that. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Sometimes that works. Let's see how that did. A little, little better, actually, but I don't think it's 100%. Uh, All right, let's see how that did.
doable. A little something off. Yeah, definitely check that out after we get done here. But uh, try one more thing. Sound guy. Who's That's me. That would be me, right? <laughs> All right. We have a we have a quick personal we can do. Um, don't see a ton more orders coming through. No. Let's quickly run this personal for John. I know the mic is a little bit rocky right now. Maybe we'll just turn the volume down on there. So we do have a personal for Jonathan. And thanks for the feedback on the uh, the cards with uh, how to best protect them. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. That always is very helpful. Jonathan, box 34. Let's see what we got for you. I'll try to just turn the volume down. So it's not overbearing. All right, Jonathan, let's see what we got for you, my man. Ooh, that's a good hit. Second COA right here. Back at zero, we got a high reception guy in the last season. High reception guy, new team, played with the Jets for a while. Oh, maybe. Got ourselves a little Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson, nice hit. There we go. Robbie Anderson, Carolina Panthers. Nice hit, dude. Big year. Really nice year for him. I want to say 100 catches. That is nice. On the nose? I don't know about the number, but he, he caught We've seen him in the room before his stuff, so yeah. I figure I remember looking that up. But it's funny, I want fast to, receiver. When you leave the Jets, you all of a sudden <laughs> get a little bit do better. Some, do some good things. Uh, you get a little bit better, right? Have you guys seen that TikTok of him talking to his teammate about Sir Per, their mascot? Probably <laughs> Anderson? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's too funny, man. Yeah, just be like. His first week in Carolina, he's like, yo, like their Panther mascot was dancing in the stands. He's like, Oh, that's Sir Purr. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you guys really call him that. Huh? Yeah, like, wow, you guys are wild here. It's so funny. Sir Purr? Yeah. <laughs> that's fun stuff. All right, John, what are we going to say, boys? I don't know. We still got some spots to be full. Um, we got seven spots on JJ, six on complete, six on Starstruck, um, seven on general admission, seven on buffet. We got new cards up for all of them. We got seven on pigskin. Once again, the world is our oyster. Yeah. Couple mic issues. Sorry about the mic, guys. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll do it all the old replug and plug back in. Can't do it right now while we're live. But we'll try that after the stream is over. We'll try to keep it quiet so it's not it's not completely unbearable. Guys, that may do it for this afternoon. That may do it for this afternoon. Here are some UA live breaks. Don't see I saw, yeah, I can kick them up. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Overpower you. Uh, we do have some more breaks listed for tonight. We'll get some mm -hmm. stuff going for tonight. We have a, a show with Garrett and Joe. We'll have Garrett and Joe here behind the camera. Uh, Dave Everding still rocking the back room, if yes, I'm not sir. mistaken. Yeah. Uh, we can close it up for today. We can uh, we can regain some composure for tonight. <laughs> uh, do a couple more boxes. We'll take a short break. Guys, we do have to thank you for the support. Come and hang out. Listen to our little hour-long talk show. <laughs> uh, talked about a lot of stuff today, guys. We do appreciate you uh, for long and autographs. Joe? Thanks, guys. Thanks for uh, participating, as always. Thanks for watching. And we will get the mic fixed for tonight. Absolutely. 100%. We will, we will call our, our sound uh, technician. Yeah. Which I think that's also you, John. That so, me. Well, you can take a break and we'll call you back in <laughs> here. We yeah. check, check on the microphone. We haven't touched anything, so I don't know. Right, right, right. Interestingly enough. Yeah. We'll get it all worked out, though. Cool, no problem, guys. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank See you guys, guys in a little while. 8 p.m. Central Standard with the Gare Bear, Bazooka Joe, and Trivia Dave. <laughs> See you guys then.